How do we find jobs for our kids? Where can we find, we want our kids to stay in the area, we want them to have local jobs, but there just aren't enough jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, the world has changed in 11 years. I think you've seen from the speakers that you've heard here today, from Ann's report for the business retention and expansion, there are more jobs in Leeds Grenville than we have people to fill them. And I want to recognize while I'm here that we have with us today, they were here, I'm just going to see if they'll signal, is John McAllister and Stephen Sliwa. Are you still here? Just gentlemen, if you wouldn't stand up. Uh, John McAllister is the chair of the Upper Canada District School Board. I think Stephen is, the, Stephen is the director and I think he's left. But I just want to acknowledge the fact that both John and Stephen and the local trustee Lisa Swan appeared at the county council meeting uh, a few weeks ago to introduce themselves and what they're doing and also to try to open a dialogue with the MISDAs and municipal leaders uh, to see if there's some way that they can help us in getting the kids ready for the jobs that are available in the area. So uh, John, I want to thank you for coming and we look forward to continuing that dialogue in the future. Now ladies and gentlemen, it's my uh, pleasure here uh, to uh, introduce the Bill Think Memorial Award for Economic Development Leadership. During his lifetime, Bill Thake was known for his leadership and mentoring skills. His dedication to Westport and the greater Leeds Grenville area is legendary. Bill broke many records, serving 52 consecutive years on Westport Council to set a Canada-wide record as the longest serving head of a municipality. He was warden of the United Counties for an unsurpassed four times. Those who knew him well remember his warmth and his great sense of humor. We are honored that Bill's widow, Marlene, is here with us today and will help me present this award. Marlene, if you could join me on the stage uh, with County's uh, Council CAO, uh, Andy Brown, and Economic Development Officer, Deanna Clark, who will introduce our three outstanding nominees. Come. Come. Come forward, Thank you, Mr. Ward. Um, good afternoon, uh, Deanna and I. Or I guess it's still morning. One minute. Uh, <laughs> good morning. Deanna and I are pleased to, to tell you a little bit about our 2019 nominees. After each biography is read, would the nominee please come to the stage to receive their certificate of appreciation and then return to their seat. Uh, then we'll announce the award winner and after the award is announced, could all the nominees come uh, and recipient return to the stage for photographs at the beginning of their lunch break. So you'll be tied up a little bit for lunch. So our first nominee is Mr. Ken Davies. He's nominated by the Township of Rideau Lakes. Ken is the owner of Ken Davies Logistics Development in Moreton. His company assists small and medium-sized businesses facing logistics obstacles. Ken is passionate about helping Leeds Grimble businesses succeed. He volunteers many hours mentoring entrepreneurs through Entre Futurepreneur Canada. He is currently mentoring a company developing a wellness center in Ju Delta's Jubilee Block. That's one of the things I think Ann was talking about in Delta. Ken was instrumental in launching the Eastern Ontario Manufacturing Network. He has been involved with economic development organizations on both sides of the border and has developed lasting partnerships. Ken serves on the Morton and Area Community Enhancement Committee and was on the Morton Community Hall Board for almost 10 years. He was instrumental in the revival of the Morton Hall as a community meeting place. Please give Ken a warm round of applause.
Gecko, a destination gift and curio shop in the village of Lyndhurst. She has championed many village improvement groups, including Partners for Partners in Economic Enhancement and Revitalization, or PEER, since making Lyndhurst her home about 14 years ago. She's an active member of their local Chamber of Commerce and is involved in community events, attracting thousands of people to the village and the region, including the popular Lyndhurst Turkey Fair. So Terry has been instrumental in moving many community projects forward. One is, the jo is Jonas Street Park, complete with a play structure and sport court. Uh, she has also been integral in the development of an accessible waterfront trail, a new community event storage facility, and a promotional billboard for the village. Please join me in giving Terry a warm round of applause.
Can we have a, a, a round of applause again for all of our nominees? Thank you. 